Welcome to your digital arts, turning photos into art. Using your camera roll, this is a micro teach presentation showing you what we can cover in this very quick course, which should just take less than two hours really if you carry on doing the exercises as you want, or it can be done in as little as 15 minutes. So we, I took this photo in, in the autumn, refiltered it a couple of times and put it on one of these called printing on demand websites and put it on a dress, bedding, kitchen apron, shower curtains, socks, coffee mug, rack sack, cushion, water holder, smartphone cover and face mask. This course has been structured in a brain friendly way to support well-being. We work with many clients who suffer from anxiety, stress and other mental health challenges. So we structure the course so it's quick and accessible. So if you don't have these challenges, you should be able to find this course quite easy. We also take advantage of the way the brain is wired. There are things called mirror neurons, which allow you to replicate motor skills, kinesthetic, just through looking from the day you are born after a couple hours. You can see this background somewhere. If, you, if the nettle sticks out the tongue, you copy them. If they look like they're going to yawn or they are in awe, the baby opens the mouth. So all these things babies can do after a couple of hours. So you can do the same. This is how martial arts work through observation. This is how choreography works. This is how apprenticeship works. And this is the modern way that we can do with YouTube videos. This is called an asynchronous mode style because you're not present at the same time instructing the person. So you can copy video. All the apps are put into playlists every week. We even include videos that show you and remind you how to share, save that playlist to your library, YouTube library. Also, I do that in class live and you have the capability of looking at this after the class. Every week we have a challenge related to that particular theme and topic. This particular micro teach stroke taster, we're going to look at art styles, which is style transfer from one photo to another. It, it All you have to know is that if you pick a style and you tap on it, it's going to apply it to the photo. So you can see here the before and the, the before and the after. So you can apply various effects on top of an image. We also have, a, you, when we do face-to-face -face or blended learning, we have Facebook groups. Uh, we do WhatsApp, Facebook Messenger to share uh, links, resources, the videos that we cover in class, plus people can upload the portfolio of work there. If you're doing a remote on YouTube, leave a comment below the video and we see what we can arrange. And we'd love to see your work. And the other thing we're looking at is we're looking at the app called Paint. These are both based on, on these algorithms that take advantage of artificial intelligence. So if you want to actually use a QR reader, uh, there's a link in the description to one format using Android. If you put QR reader, Q for Queen, R for Romeo reader in your app store for Apple and Android, then you'll be able to find one. If you look at the description, because we work with Android mainly, you're going to see that this one that I highly recommend. And I'll also put the links directly to these apps and their app stores in case you don't, you can't be bothered with that. So we looked at what we're looking at is we're looking at number four here. We're enhancing and manipulating camera roll images. So we, so this little girl here, you see the photo there, they've applied a stylized filter on, on top of her image. So it looks a bit more cartoonish. This is the type of thing we're doing, but we're also doing some creative destruction with the photos using various apps. So you're going to have a go at seeing how to what extreme you can take imagery. There are also other ways of interpreting digital art. So people can start drawing directly on a, on a tablet uh, using a drawing app and they can use an, a reference image to sketch over, colorize, add shadows, textures, make it look 3D, use uh, custom brushes, etc. You also have ways of uh, simulating natural media such as watercolor, gouache, uh, acrylics, pastels, 
uh, oil paints within an app itself as you can see here this person with all these runny colors you can also actually if you do pen and ink you can actually use an app to scan that remove the background or turn this into a scalable image called scalable vector graphic which can then be exported to your desktop to kind of blow up really really big without showing any little pixels and any little squirty, squarey ladders that appear to damage the image. You won't have that in SVG. And we have here a live effect on a web page I was going to show you quite quickly. So you can see it says digital art and the word, the word art is like going into a tunnel. This is a live effect. You would pick one and then you just press the camera shutter and you would get an effect like that. If you want to distort a face or do something a bit like um, abstract art, Picasso-esque image making. So your challenge, if you like having a go at the app and you've gone through various filters, I want you to refilter an image. So, so run various art styles on top of the initial image. Once you're happy with that, then have a go at, at uh, paint after you finish with deep art effect. And paint is more powerful. Deep Art Effects is just a quick introduction. Paint's got many, many, many more sliders. It's the track load, more controls. You can refine it the way you want it. It's just really wonderful. I love it. So again, here's the QR code for Paint for in Android, and here's the QR code for Paint in iOS. Again, if you can't be bothered looking at these, I will put the, in the description the links direct to the app stores as well. And if you were coming on the second week, so that would be like the first week we would do and have micro challenges, depending on what the learners quick questions Q and A's have. Then the following week we would look at something called double exposure, which uh, looks at blending two photos on top of one another and applying various effects and coloring styles. This one is called Diana Photo, it's quite nice to use, but it's slightly different on iOS than Android. That was, by the way, that was work from one of our learners. So do you want more? Do you want to do a free YouTube course? I have a five week course on digital arts, looking at photography and changing the photos in your camera roll into various forms of art styles from kind of just very um, things like we did just now to very abstract, very um, challenging work that really makes you look at things differently. So with the schedule and the way you would work on that will be two, two and a half hours per week for five weeks. It's on YouTube. You could submit your work if you leave a um, comment in the description each week. I would, we can arrange ways for you to, to send those images through. I would love to see them. So again, every week there is a theme and there's various challenges associated to them. There's some preset ones and there's some extra ones that we can do it on, do on the fly. So now it's time to stop, time to think, time to install those apps. If you want to do look, look at more apps and do more things related to digital arts or easier ways of accessing technology, I have this YouTube channel that you can subscribe to if you wish. So it's time to get the kettle on, slice some cake, get some biscuits out, you can do both, it's not illegal, and you can get your devices ready to have a wonderful journey. So thank you so much and I look forward to seeing your images. Thank you.